Well, here we are once again, and uh, this time I'm trying to uh, um, accurately calculate force between two magnets, uh, whether it be the be in attraction or in repulsion. So we've built this uh, little setup here. Very simple to do. There's two threaded rods either side, and uh, a micrometer that's been uh, cut down. Just remove the uh, C shape from the end of the micrometer and uh, I've turned another one down so that it fits into the, the top bar there so that gives us an accurate way of knowing w how far we're moving the magnet on the end there in and out and um, well it wasn't the prime objective showing diamagnetism but uh, since we've got this set up in this way we'll, uh, we can we can do diamagnetism tests as you can see here aluminium is diamagnetic and um, of course you get to a stage where the little magnet is practically floating it doesn't float very well because ma uh, aluminium isn't very highly diamagnetic. If you used uh, bismuth on the other hand then you would get a very good very good effect. The aluminium is quite poor as you can see there. But um, anyway the main purpose of this little rig was to replace the aluminium block really with um, set scale. Right so we've uh, bought ourselves uh, an electronic scale off eBay for about ten dollars. Uh, and with this we can actually do some meaningful uh, torque or uh, weight tests the force tests that I say um, just whack that in there quickly um, it's immediately under 22 grams of uh, repulsion and of course turning the micrometer we can adjust that up or we can go back down if I press tear. I want to reduce it by a gram. I can reduce it by a gram. So you can see we we got uh, a nice little system where we could graph force against distance for do two different sized magnets. On the internet, there are quite a few uh, pages that will give you online magnetic force calculators. But uh, I haven't come across any of those programs that actually um, deal with different or odd sized magnets. They're all for the same, uh, for a pair, well, basically for a pair of magnets of the same size, which isn't much good for what I'm looking at at the moment because um, I'm interested in odd shaped and different sized magnets, basically big to small, to find out the, f the force relationships between them, between the two. As this stands, this won't give you an accurate result because the the um, both of the neos are on the steel of the the plate there, that steel plate. And of course, when a neo or any other magnet is backed by steel, more of its flux is thrown forward. So it's basically stronger with a steel backing plate. And the same applies to the bottom of the micrometer, which is forming another steel plate. So what we have to do if we want to make this uh, more accurate is to separate the steel from from the magnets with a bit of uh, plastic or what have you what I will be doing later is um, probably turning up a, little, a few uh, perspex plugs so that uh, the magnets are nowhere near the steel when we're doing the measuring um, but from here on in if you know the force of attraction and you can draw up a graph and if you know the force of repulsion between the two magnets you can draw up another graph <coughs> you'll notice there'll be big differences between the two attraction is by nowhere near, nowhere near um, as weak as repulsion repulsion is quite considerably weaker because as you may or may not know as magnets approach each other 
in repulsion, they move down their BH curves. But anyway, uh, you get the idea. Uh, the force of the magnet goes down when it's in repulsion. In attraction, it generally go, creeps up because it moves further up the BH scale. But uh, that's for another day. And hopefully we can find out, uh, because I'm interested in finding um, figures uh, for big and big magnets against small magnets.